Hey guys, I'm back with part 7 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. Here in this one, we're going to be doing the interior layout for the second floor of the house, and we're also going to try to squeeze in all of the interior layout for the attic. I gathered up all the blocks we're going to be using in this video, so make sure you have the white, gray, light gray, and cyan concrete, then the dark oak planks, stairs, slabs, trap doors, and the stripped dark oak logs. Then we have the spruce planks, the smooth quartz blocks, stairs, and slabs. Then the quartz bricks, pillar quartz, and chiseled quartz blocks. Then we have the deep slate bricks, deep slate tiles. Then the terracotta, red terracotta, orange terracotta, some anvils, and some sea lanterns. And we're going to be starting up here at the second floor, at the top of the staircase. We're going to start with the white concrete, and we're just going to look right here at the right side of the staircase. You could just line up where you have all of the stairs. So we'll place a block here, here, and here. And now we're going to go ahead and fill in the corner right here. So just bring it all the way to the edge, like that. So now you should be able to see four spaces of white concrete here, and it stops at the same layer as the top stair here for the staircase. So now what we're going to do is place another 7 layers going up right on top of these 4 spaces. So now let's go here at the front, right here on top of this wall. We're going to go ahead and place an additional layer of white concrete. So right above this doorway here, you should be able to see another 4 layers of white concrete right here. Now let's go ahead and look at this right side. We're going to go ahead and bring up two spaces right here to the same height as that wall. And now you should be left with the three spaces here in the middle. Right on top of that, I'm going to have three upside down dark oak stairs. And now let's grab the anvils. I'm going to place these right on top of those stairs. And then right on top of that, we'll be sure to crouch and have some dark oak trap doors. So that's going to be a little railing right there for this opening. Let's go here at the top, back to the white concrete, and we'll bring down two layers right here for that middle space. And then we'll have the dark oak stair. So just one upside down in each corner. And then a dark oak trap door down the middle, and one below each stair. So now we have the opening done here at the top of the staircase. Now let's flip around over to this side. Make sure you have the white concrete. So here at the right, right next to where this white concrete is, we're going to go ahead and have another layer going up. We'll do the same on this side. And then let's be sure to do another layer across the top. So we have two layers of white concrete above the glass here for that doorway. And now let's go ahead and bring out a layer of white concrete on each side. And now let's go at the top and bring this out by 3. We'll go ahead and do another 2 layers below that. Do the same over here. And then we're going to shape out where a doorway is going to be. So we're going to go ahead and bring this down by another 4. Just right there at that edge. Do the same over here. So now we have a doorway marked out on this side, and over here on this side. And now let's continue bringing the white concrete back up towards that side. This is all just going to be a solid wall right here. So we'll just connect this right together, and fill in all of this space throughout the middle. Just like that, just a solid wall. And then we'll go down here below it. Starting right here at the edge, and we'll bring this all the way down to the white concrete here for this wall at the first floor. So now it's all completely filled in here. We're going to go ahead and flip around, look at this side, and do the same thing. So I guess what we'll do is just start by bringing this side all the way down, just like that. And then we'll bring a layer all the way over till the edge of the staircase here where that top layer is. So bring it across. And so you're lined up here at the top of the staircase. And now this entire section right here 
will be filled in. So we'll bring this all the way up to the same height as everything else. So just up until there. And now you can see all the space throughout the middle here. We're going to fill in. Alright, so solid white concrete wall all throughout here to the left of the staircase. Let's go ahead and look at this space where we have the set of upside down smooth quartz stairs. We'll go ahead and grab those again. We're also going to need the anvils still and the dark oak trap doors. So with the smooth quartz stairs, we'll place a layer facing up right on top of the upside down ones there. And then a layer upside down right on top of those. We'll then have anvils for the railing here. And then we'll be sure to crouch and have the dark oak trap doors on top of that. So that's looking good at the same layer as that one. Now let's fill in the floors right here for this space. So we'll start with the stripped dark oak logs and have these where the two spaces are down here where the doorway is. So just make sure you still have the four layers here for the opening. We'll do the same on this side. Just like that. So these logs are here at the same layer as this layer of the quartz stairs. So now at that same layer, we're going to go ahead and fill in the floors with the dark oak planks. So I'll just go straight across from one side to the other. I think this is just four blocks wide. Yeah, so four blocks wide with the dark oak planks. So now we have all the floors filled in here. We have the railing all marked out. Now let's go ahead and do the doorways. So just two upside down dark oak stairs at the top. And then the trap doors below them. And now we have this space all marked out, but we'll go ahead and flip around and focus here on this space at the top of the staircase. So we'll just jump right on into it. We're going to be using the white concrete. And I'm going to be right here at the edge of the quartz. So we'll bring up a layer of the white concrete to the same height as this wall right here. So it looks like it's just one block higher than the glass here. And now what I'll do is the same thing over on this side. So just bring a strip of white concrete all the way up there to the edge of that quartz. And then we'll bring a strip straight across and pretty much just go right along the outer edge of the window. So it's looking like this. And now on each side here at the edge of where the white concrete is, we're going to go ahead and bring this out by another three. And then all the way up to the same height there at the top. All right, so all of that is filled in, looking good. Now we're gonna have another doorway right here on this side and the same one over on this side. So we're gonna be sure to skip over two spaces. So what we'll do is go at the top and just bring this all the way over to that wall there. And then go ahead and do another two layers right below that. And then here at the left, we'll go all the way down till this layer. So one block above the top of the staircase and fill in another two spaces here. And now you can see we're left with two spaces, which is where the doorway is going to be. So I'll flip around and do the same thing on this side. So we'll go at the top and just bring this straight across all the way over to that wall. So just go ahead and fill that all in and then do another two layers right below it. And then we'll head on back over to this side and we'll bring it over until we're left with two spaces. So I'll just start right here. Just bring this straight across right into that wall. Continue working your way down until we meet up at the same layer over on this side. So now we have that doorway marked out. We flip around and have the same exact one right there. Let's go ahead and fill in the floors. So I'll start with the dark oak planks. I'll just go right here at the edge of the wall at this layer where we have these dark oak stairs. So right below the anvils and at the same layer as the top of the staircase. So I'll just bring a strip straight across all the way until we meet up at that wall. Go ahead and bring this across to that side. 
and I bring it into the staircase. And now you can see all the space here in the middle is going to be filled in with the dark oak planks. So all of that is filled in. And now let's go ahead with the stripped dark oak logs and have two over on this side like that and then two over here. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and do the door frame with the two dark oak stairs at the top and the dark oak trap doors below them. Alright, so now we have the walls and doorways all marked out here for the space at the top of the staircase. So I'll go ahead and actually look here up above. You can see we have all this space here at the top of the staircase. We left this space all open in the middle. And then we have this little, basically like a hallway. It's also called a landing going across, which is going to connect the two bedrooms that we have here. So just a nice little walkway. So that is the main entrance here for the house. Let's go ahead and carry on. How about we do this side over here next? Let's switch back to the white concrete and start marking out the walls. I'll go ahead and look at this side here, where this opening is for the balcony. At the right side, just starting down here at the bottom, we'll go ahead and fill in these two spaces and bring it all the way up to the same height as all of the other walls. And then we'll go over here at the left and do the same thing. And then here at the same layer as these dark oak stairs, we're going to go ahead and have some more on the inside. And then just two more layers of white concrete on top of that. So now this wall is all filled in. Now let's look over here at this left side. I'm going to be sure to cut out this corner right here. So we'll just start at the same layer as this white concrete. Remove the corner here. We'll bring it all the way up to the top. We'll replace it with the white concrete like that and now let's go ahead and do another three layers right behind that so now you should be able to see four spaces right here and still see two spaces here so we just removed that corner and filled it in now we're going to have a doorway right here which is going to be two blocks wide so we'll go at the top and we'll bring this out by three and if they do it another two layers below that if they'd go ahead and bring down this side at the edge. And now you can see we're left with the doorway here. Now, right behind this wall, we're going to go ahead and bring this back by another four. So you should be able to see a total of five here. And then we'll go ahead and fill all of this in. There we go, that's all looking good. So now let's look over here at the edge of this wall where we just left it off. We're going to go ahead and have another two spaces right here, just completely filled in. And then we'll go across the top and just bring this out by another four. Go ahead and do another two layers below that. And then starting here at the edge on this side, we'll go ahead and fill in another two spaces. So now we're left with a doorway that's going to be right here. Let's start filling in the floors here for this space. So make sure to switch to the stripped dark oak logs. And we'll have the two right there for that doorway. And the two over here for this one. And now you can see all the other space here for this area is going to be filled in with the dark oak planks. So we'll switch to those. On this wall we'll just go straight across from one side to the other. Don't worry about bringing it into this space. So just right here on the other side will be completely filled in. So we'll just go all the way around at the edge. Bring it straight across. Go ahead and fill in this little bit of space right here for that doorway. And then bring it back to where we started. Now you can just see all the space in the middle. You walk through this doorway that's right here at the top of the staircase. We have the doorway here, which has access to the balcony. This is going to be a doorway here, which is going to have access to a bathroom. And then we're going to have this doorway here, which is going to have access to a large bedroom. 
And then this space here is where the staircase leading up to the attic will be. So let's head on into this space next, which is the bathroom. So here for this bathroom, we're going to continue with the white concrete. And over on this side, so flipped around looking at the opening for the doorway, we are going to be adding a second layer on this wall, so it's going to be doubled up. So we'll look over here at this left side first. We'll fill in these three spaces, skip over the doorway, and then bring this over by another four. We're just leaving this final space here. Now let's go ahead, lined up with this final block, bring this straight across all the way over until this corner right here. So we have another space until we meet up with the window. And then let's go to the right side of this window. We'll fill in that space there. Then another space here. And one more space right here. So you can see we're left with the two corner blocks. And then we just wrap this all the way around. Now on top of that layer of the white concrete, we're going to have a layer of chiseled quartz. So you can swap to that. Go ahead and place it on top of all that white concrete we just marked out. And then we also have to replace the white concrete that we added for the border of the window. So that it all just flows together. So we have that strip of the chiseled quartz wrapping all the way around. And now I'm going to be using cyan concrete for the main color of the walls here for this bathroom. So you can see we are going to have to replace the white concrete around the outer edge of the window. But let's first just go through and add the additional layers right on top of the chiseled quartz. So you can see it's just going to be another 5 layers in height. So matched up to the same height as the rest of the walls. So everywhere that you see that chiseled quartz, we'll add another 5 layers of cyan concrete. Now let's be sure to do the three spaces above the doorway here. And then let's go ahead and replace the white concrete along the outer edge of the window with the cyan concrete. And then do the additional layer right on top of that. And then we'll look at this window and do the same thing. So removing the white concrete along the outer edge, replacing it with the cyan concrete, and then adding an additional layer on top. So now we have the walls all marked out here for this bathroom. Let's go ahead and do the floors. So we'll switch back to the stripped dark oak logs. Have another two here because like I said, this doorway, well this wall is doubled up. So that means the doorway is doubled up. And now let's do the floors. So it's going to be just some quartz bricks. I think that'll be good. So just all of the space that you see throughout here. So that's all looking good. Now let's go ahead and do the door frame for both of these doorways. So we have the bathroom one, which is going to be doubled up. So we just have to add a total of four stairs there at the top. We have the two stairs right here as usual. And then the dark oak trap doors below all of the stairs. So we have that doorway all marked out and this one. So now let's head on into this space here, which as I mentioned before is going to be a large bedroom. And I'll look over here at this side first. We'll go right here at the bottom of where this wall was left off. We'll bring a strip of white concrete straight across all the way until we meet up here at the edge of all of these stone blocks. And then we'll bring a strip of white concrete all the way over to that wall. Just like that. And then we'll go ahead and fill this in by another two, so just going out by two like that. We're going to replace this corner here, so let's go ahead and clear this out. Just all the way till at this layer. And we'll fill in another three right there. And then we're going to replace this corner here as well. So bring that all the way up till that first layer of the quartz. And we have that space right there. So just a single block here, then we have three blocks here. And then we have the two here, and then the corner. So, all of this is going to be completely filled in with white concrete. We'll bring it all the way up to the same height as the rest of the walls. Alright, all of that's completely filled in. We have that wall. We have all of this space here. 
Let's go ahead and do another layer across the top right above these windows. So just bring it straight across all the way till there. And then we have this space right here, which is going to be white concrete. And then you can see we have the smooth quartz, which we're going to replace with white concrete as well. Just like that. Looking good. Let's flip around over to this side. Right here at the edge of this wall. We're going to bring this out by another two. And then once again, bring it all the way up. Just like that. And that's pretty much about it for all of the walls here for this bedroom. As I mentioned before, we're going to have the staircase leading up to the attic right here. So we're going to have a little bit of a storage area underneath the staircase. So we're just going to leave it all open like that for now. So let's go through and now fill in all of the floors here for this bedroom. So I'm going to be using the spruce planks. And I'll just start over here, right up against the dark oak planks that we have here. We'll fill in all of this space. And then you can see just all of the other space. We'll continue with the spruce planks. So that's all looking good. Now we have the final little bit over here on this side, aside from the ceilings, and that's going to be the staircase leading up to the attic. So we'll go ahead and mark that out next. So let's be sure to switch to the dark oak stairs. We'll mark out the staircase right here. So we're going to line up at the third space of the white concrete away from the edge of this doorway. So right here on this space, we'll bring out two dark oak stairs like that. And then a third one is going to be curving. Now we're going to continue with just two wide as we work our way up. It's going to be an additional eight layers. So including the first layer here, it'll be nine in total. So starting right here on this layer, two blocks wide and eight going up. So we have the seventh layer right here, just like that. And then we have the eighth layer right here. So now in total, including that first layer, we have nine going up. Now let's look over here at this right side. Make sure you have the white concrete. We're going to fill in the three spaces here. Do another layer on top of that. And then two spaces here and one space here. So they're all lined up where the stairs are for the staircase. And now on top of those three blocks, we're going to have an anvil. So now that is the railing here for the staircase. Now let's go behind the staircase. Make sure you have the white concrete. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in these two spaces right here. And then the next layer here with four spaces. You can now see here, we do have two dark oak planks. Let's be sure to replace that with the spruce planks so that it's all the same blocks. And now switch to the dark oak stairs. I'll go ahead and just grab them from there. And we're going to cover this all up. So bring it up by four layers until we meet up here at the edge of this wall. Now what I'm going to do is actually just leave it at that for now here for this space. And now we just pretty much have to do all of the ceilings for this side. We're going to head on over here to this side and mark out all of these floors and walls next. So we'll start with the white concrete. I'll look over here at this side where this balcony is. We're going to be doing the same thing that we did over there. So we just have these two spaces starting down here at the bottom. We'll fill all of this in. And then over here at the right side, do the same thing. Make sure to have the upside down dark oak stairs here at that layer. And then the two layers of white concrete on top of that. Now let's look over here. We are once again going to replace this corner. So go ahead and cut all this out to the same height as the top. And then I'm going to bring this out by two like that. So go ahead and fill all of this in. And then you can see we're just lined up here. So we'll fill in this strip all the way to the top. Go across the top above the window and fill in that layer. And then we have the other space right here. And now we're going to be sure to have two corner blocks over here. So we'll fill in that space, that space, and that space. So now you can see we have these two corners that will bring all the way up. And then we have this single space right there. 
so now you can see just left with the two corners. Now let's look over here on this side. We'll go across the top again, like that. Go ahead and fill in this space here. And now we're left with this space here. What we're going to do is bring this out by 8. Like that. Go ahead and fill in this entire wall. So there we go, all of that is filled in, looking good so far. Now let's go right behind here, right at the edge. And we'll bring this out by another three like that. We'll completely fill all of it in. And then we're going to have another doorway here, so what we'll do is go at the top, bring this over by three, and then add an additional two layers below it. And then we'll go down here at the edge, just like that. So now we have a doorway marked out here. And now let's continue bringing this white concrete all the way until that corner there. So just fill all of this in. And then we have to also be sure to just cut all of this out and replace it with more white concrete. There we go. Now let's go across the top above these windows, add this layer, and then the single layer right here, and then we have to replace the smooth quartz blocks here for this space. We still have to add another wall going across here, so let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go right here at the second space from the edge of the wall here, so on this space, we'll bring this out by four like that. Go ahead and fill in this entire wall. And then we'll go across the top and connect it over to the other side. Fill in the other two layers right below that. And then go ahead and fill in two more layers at this side. Up against that wall. So now we just shaped out the doorway here. So we walk through this doorway here. Into this space, we have a living room area here. And then we walk through this doorway. We have a bedroom here. And then a bathroom over here. We're going to go ahead and mark out all of the walls here. First, let's be sure to do the floors. Because it will then make it easier to place all of the walls with the blocks that we're going to be using. So I have the deep slate bricks. I'll look over here at the right side of the doorway. Just fill in the three spaces there. We'll switch to the stripped dark oak logs, fill in the two spaces right there. Let's go ahead and do the same on this side. So now we have these two layers here for the floor for the doorway, just like that. Let's switch back to the deep slate bricks. And we're going to go ahead and have another four here at the left. Now let's start here and bring it straight across to the other side. And then we'll bring this all the way along till that wall. And then connect right back into that side. Let's do all the space throughout the middle. And now you can see we're just going to go around the outer edge. Starting out with two layers of the pillar quartz blocks facing straight up and down. So that's why it was easier just to place the floors first. So now we could just go right on top of these floors with the pillar quartz blocks. So as I mentioned, just two layers stacked up on top of each other going all the way along the outer edge. So there we go, just all along the outer edge like that. Now let's go ahead and switch to the gray concrete and we're going to have five layers on top of the pillar quartz. Alright, so all of that is now filled in here for the bathroom. And make sure to also do the space right here above the doorway as well. So we'll head on out, and let's go ahead and do the floors here for this bedroom next, and then also here for this living room space. So first, we have the two stripped dark oak logs here for the floor, just going straight across like that. So now for this bedroom, you can see it's just this space here. 
I'm going to be using the spruce planks for this space. And then over on this side, we're going to continue with the dark oak planks. So everywhere that you see empty space, we're going to go ahead and fill in. So this is what the bedroom space is looking like with the spruce planks. And then we have the living room space with the dark oak planks. And make sure not to forget about this extra strip here where this opening is for the doorway. Now let's go ahead and do the rest of the door frames. So we have that bathroom space and this space. So just the same thing again with the dark oak stairs at the top and the dark oak trap doors below them. So we just went through and marked out all of the floors and walls for the entire second floor. The final thing we have left to do here are all of the ceilings now. And then after we fill in all of the ceilings, I think what I'm actually going to do is just leave it at that here for part 7. I keep underestimating how big this build actually is. I keep thinking that I'm going to be able to get all of this done as well as like all of the attic. But the video is just going to end up being way too long, probably over an hour. So I think what I'll do is just finish off the second floor here with all the ceilings. And then in part 8, we'll go through and do all of the attic space. So let's just take a quick look at everything we marked out here for the second floor. So at the beginning, we went ahead and did the main entrance here. So we just have this long rectangular shape down the middle. Over here on this side, we have this bedroom. And then right here is going to be a living room space. And then here we have this bathroom. And then over on the other side, we have basically like a little hallway which has access to the attic. And then we have a bathroom right here. And another bedroom. So now let's go through and mark out all of the ceilings. So I'm going to start with the white concrete. We'll look over here at this bathroom space first. We're going to be one block higher than the top layer here for the walls. And I'm just going to fill all of this in with white concrete. And now every other space for the entire second floor, I'm going to fill in with a layer of gray concrete. I didn't want to do that there for that bathroom because we already have gray concrete for the walls. And I like the ceilings to be different. So we have the ceilings filled in there for that bathroom. Now let's head on over here to this side where the staircase leading up to the attic is. I want to make sure to mark out some of the walls along the side of the staircase before we start filling in all of the ceilings because I don't want to fill in anything that's not supposed to be filled in. So I'll look over here at this corner and just bring a layer of white concrete all the way over like that to the edge of the top of the staircase. Let's go ahead and do another layer right on top of that. And what we could do is just leave it at that for now. And now let's go on the other side over here and do the same thing. What I'll do is just bring it to the same edge as the white concrete there. Bring it up to the same height as the top of the staircase as well. There's one more thing I want to do here before we start filling everything in. So make sure you have the gray concrete. We're going to fill in a space right here. So lined up at the second space of the white concrete away from the edge of the wall here. Let's go ahead and bring this out by another three. And then we'll bring it over until we line up at the edge of the white concrete wall at that side. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and continue with the white concrete and bring this over until we line up at that gray concrete. And now let's continue this along the side and underneath the staircase. So the gray concrete will bring this over. You can see we actually have to remove this white concrete corner block here. So remove that and fill all of this in across here with more gray concrete. So now you can see we have this gray concrete going across right here and then we bring this layer across the side and around up until here and then we just bring it in. So this is going to be the opening here for the staircase up to the attic. So now everywhere else where you see empty space we're going to continue filling in with gray concrete for the entire second floor. So I just went through and filled in all of the other space with the gray concrete for the ceilings. And once again, we just left all of this space here open for the staircase. 
So we'll go down and you can kind of see what we just did. So we have this space here. We have the bathroom, so all filled in. We have this space all filled in. You can see right here, that's going to be covered up with the crown molding, so don't worry about that. We have all of this space for the main entrance of the house. All filled in. We have this living room space. The bedroom. And then once again, this bathroom. It's quite dark in some of these spaces, so I'm going to go through and just add a couple sea lanterns. And then we'll start marking out all the crown molding and the beams. Alright, so I have the dark oak stairs and the dark oak slabs. And how about we just start in the main entrance of the house first. So, let's start with the dark oak stairs. And I'll just go ahead and bring these along the outer edge all upside down on that side. Right here above the window, we're going to have slabs. So let's go ahead and have another set of upside down stairs along this side. And we'll just bring it all the way until we meet up here at this white concrete. So what we'll do is connect this, like wrap it all the way around into that stair. So just wrap this around like that. And right into the stair right there. So this side is like that, just wrapped right around into there. And then as I mentioned, I want to be sure to have some dark oak slabs right here. Because I want to leave a little bit of a gap with the wall before we meet the window. I don't want to just have stairs right here. I feel like that would be too close together. So this entire space is all filled in. Let's go right behind this stair here. And have another two upside down. Just like that. And then you can see we have all of this space. So we're just going to wrap all the way around. So go straight across the opening here. We'll go right behind that. Have another set of upside down stairs. Just like that side. And then all of this other space is just wrapped all the way around. So there we go. Let's head on into this living room space. All we're doing is just wrapping all the way along the outer edge. Do the same here for this bedroom. And the same here for this bathroom. Alright, so here for the living room, just all along the outer edge, just followed right along that wall, wrapped it all around. We have the bedroom here, very simple, just a nice squared off space. Same with the bathroom, just a squared off space. Let's head on over here to this side, let's do this bedroom. So you can see, we just have all of this space we can now cover up right below the staircase. Now it looks all clean and good, don't have any random blocks showing through. And then we'll just continue wrapping this all the way along at the outer edge. Alright, so that's it here for this bedroom space. Looking good. Head on out into this area. So you can see right here, we're just going to follow along where we marked out this gray concrete. Just like that, that little L shape. And then we'll connect right into that and continue wrapping this all the way along the outer edge. So we have this space all filled in. And now we have this bathroom. Once again, just along the outer edge, pretty simple. There we go. All right, now let's be sure to head back in here where the opening for the staircase is. I do wanna be sure to go on the other side of these stairs and just have another set of upside down dark oak stairs right behind it like that. And now you can see right here on top of these stairs, we're going to continue the wall. So we have the white concrete. We'll just place two layers right on top of the dark oak stairs. And that's all there is to it. Now this opening is all done. We could walk up and down without bumping our head. There's enough space there and it all looks good. So now the final thing I wanna be sure to do in this video are all of the beams that we're going to have for the extra detail in the ceiling. And we'll be sure to also add all of the light source as well where they're going to be staying and not just leaving all this temporary light. So let's start here at the main entrance of the house. So we have these stripped dark oak logs. And I'll just have a beam going in this direction right down the middle so we remove that stair. Have the beam going across. And remove that stair as well and replace it. So just like that. And then in the other direction, we'll go ahead and have a sea lantern here, and another one over here. 
and I'll just cover it up with some dark oak slabs. We'll go ahead and remove the temporary light. We'll carry on into this side. And I'm going to have a beam in the other direction going right down the middle. So we'll remove that stair and that stair. Replace it with a stripped dark oak log going straight across. And then in the other direction, we'll go ahead and have a sea lantern right around. How about here and here? Do the same on the other side. And then we'll just go ahead and cover that up with some more dark oak slabs. And I think that'll be good. Remove that light, this light, and that light. We will have a little bit of extra light going up along the wall here where the staircase is. So if you're seeing that this is a little bit dark, don't worry. We're going to be adding some paintings. Behind them will be sea lanterns, so this will all be brightened up and looking good. But for now, we have the main entrance to the house all complete. Pretty much just have to do all of the furnishings. We'll head on over here to this side next. So all I really did here for this space, how about we go ahead and have a beam just right here. So remove that stair and this stair. Does it have to be any specific place? You could just add the detail how you prefer. But what I'm going to do is just have a beam like that. I think that looks good. And so I have a set of sea lanterns. One right here. Another one on this side. And then right down the middle where this space is. So another sea lantern right around there. Another one there. And then we'll cover up all of this with some dark oak slabs. So just bring it straight across. Remove the temporary light. And now this is what we have here for the ceiling for this space. I think that's good. Let's carry on into this bathroom. This will be very simple. We'll just go ahead and have... How about just a set of slabs in this direction? So I'll add a sea lantern right there. Cover it up with the slabs. Remove the temporary light. And that's all we'll do here for this bathroom. That's about all we really need. Head on into this bedroom. So in here, I'll go ahead and have a sea lantern right there, lined up at the edge of that crown molding. Another one over here at that side. And then we'll just bring a strip of dark oak slabs straight across. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll have another set right around here. So a sea lantern there, another one here. Bring the slabs straight across. Remove all this temporary light. And yeah, I think that'll be fine. We'll just leave it at that for the ceilings for this space. Let's go ahead on over to this side. This is the final little bit we have left. So here for this bedroom, it'll be simple. We'll just go ahead and have maybe a sea lantern here and here. Do the same on this side. And then we'll just have the slabs going across in this direction. Just like that, I think will work fine. Remove all of this here. And that's going to be it here for this bedroom. Head on into this bathroom. Very simple in here. Just a sea lantern right down the middle. And then the slabs. And now we have the final space over here for this living room. So we're just going to have a couple beams. So make sure you have these stripped dark oak logs. And we'll have the first one right around here at this space. So we'll bring a strip of the logs going straight across. So something like that I think is good. And then we'll have another one over here on this side. So we'll start on this space and bring this straight across as well. So there we go, just a couple beams. And now in the other direction is where we're going to be adding the light and some more of the slabs. So how about we do a sea lantern right around here. And over here, we'll cover that up with the slabs going straight across like that. And then we'll have another set like right around here, I think will be good. So we'll add a sea lantern there, maybe another one there, and another one here. And then we'll just cover all of that up with slabs as well. Remove all the temporary light. And yeah, I think that'll be fine here for the ceiling for this space. 
So we just went all the way through. So now we have all of the floors, walls, and ceilings marked out for the entire second floor. Alright guys, I'm going to leave it at that here for part 7 for this tutorial on how to build this mansion. If this did help you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 8. We'll be jumping right on into the attic space.